will be still uh, around touring, probably now more than ever. Yeah. In your forties, mm -hmm. how does it feel? Like after such a long career and histories and stuff happen. Well, I think it's a, a real modern um, invention that people uh, would think it's strange that I'd be working at what I'd love to do at 40. I mean, it's not too crazy, really. If you watch uh, the pictures outside in the loft, you see Baby Harry, Michael, yeah. all the band, like Rolling Stone, are still touring. Yeah. Obviously, it's a different thing, but still. Yeah, well, of course, because those guys people are iconic, longer. so it's a whole thing. Well, yeah, some, some people live longer, some people live shorter, maybe. I don't know. Are you aware, uh, you, you mentioned the term icon. Are you aware that you, nowadays, you are considered one? Well, for all that matters, like the, the, the documentary, of course, that's a big part of it, but you represent a, a, a line of rock stars. You are like what you're supposed to be, what people accept rock star, musician, are, or it used to be once in the good old times, in the golden age, depends on how the take you have in the period. Yes, yeah, well, that's not as a, it's like the, uh, the opposite of impressive. I think uh, most people have a lack of uh, imagination of what they want to do with their life, whether they're young people or old people. Like the, the nouveau riche, you know? They just have bad ideas. They don't like cool shit, and they, you know? It's always like, they, it's either not that or they are always looking for new cool shit. Well, you could be impressed for one day. You could open up some magazine, you know, like some trash paper, and you're like, oh, this Russian billionaire has this fucking giant yacht, this new one from Germany or something. But then if you think about all the rich people's crap from 1980, like nobody's impressed by something like, oh, he's got a cell phone that's this big, you know, some... Do you know what I mean? That stuff is just temporary, I think. And so instead you think about yourself and the thing you do... Well, I, it's, it's, it's obvious to me that Mick Jagger doesn't give a shit about the Rolling Stones. Do you see any kind of quality shit coming out? No, he's recording with Joss Stone. Joss Stone and some reggae guys or some shit. Like, here's my friend from India, you know? <laughs> I think he needs a visa. But yeah, so that's not you. Like, I mean, are you aware of the level of, uh, of respect even you can actually say about like, if you, you started I mean, 20 years ago. Yeah, but that's okay. I mean, I, I enjoy working on music with people and stuff, you know, so that's okay. I mean, time, time moves on, right? Would you have said like, though, like, I want to be young now. Like, 20 years ago, have, will have you ever thought, or was it even not even crossing your mind, that 20 years later in your 40s, I, I, know, I have no doubt that you always know you will play music, yeah. but I mean, you will be able to tour in and have people, like a lot of people come to your gigs. Uh, well, yeah, but it's more the opposite, because we were trying to think of why, why some things weren't happening. It was obvious because we're irresponsible, maybe not professional, and music had already become such a business, you know, people don't want to throw good money at people that look like they're going to be junkies or irresponsible or drunks or some shit, right? They want to bet money on the guy that's super nice that seems like he's dependable, maybe. Like a sure asset, basically. Yeah, like a sure bet, you know what I mean, with their money. Yeah. Or so maybe even when, they, when, they maybe when people are cooperative, you know, they do anything you want me to do. Hey, we want you to sing this fucking Elton John song, you know, we want you to dress like this, now you're gay. It's like whatever for fucking TV. You say like there are even the junkie, or the, the junkie card is like a card, like like labels sometimes they throw, like the recent one, the, the first one that pops in my mind, yeah. Pete Doherty. That even now it was something like a, a domesticated junkie because he was yeah. dating like a model, he was, yeah. you know, trending. Yeah. Like, oh, that's, he can play like a, a side. Yeah, probably. But it still in it has such impact because it's like the life story. Doing drugs, uh, some like modit kind of attitude. Yeah, well. I think people still looking for that, even like 40 years after. Well, you know. still something that people look. So now they just made it, make it so what? The banker's the cool, fu coolest fucking thing? It's like, look, I just made one billion dollar bonus. I do nothing. All I do is put people out of work. You know, all I do is like give loans and then take the factory. Like, you know. Now you're like your own, your own boss, though. That's you have good like though. the kind of, and but I know, always was. Even in uh, like you know, in the '90s or something like that, you were still you were still obviously well, judging you know, my, what you do by yourself. Obviously well, you, you know, where I'm from, from, white people are really rich, you know, and they, it's crazy, right? But I never really wanted to live in those places. I figured like fuck. Yeah. The place you're talking about is like Newport Beach, yeah, like the original, yeah, Orange County, and all that shit.
I want to consider. Well known from a stereotype now, it's also become an icon of a certain thing from the you know these Real Housewife shows in America and all this shit. Yeah, like this one. Like no, yeah, right. Yeah, now. it's like here I'm the rich guy. Here's my fucking breast implant operation. Oh, I mean my wife. And this is my you know car, and this is my fucking little Uber blonde kids and all that shit. That, Everybody wants but basically now everybody is like entitled to have their own but I reality this, show. I knew this people were assholes there. You knew it from the beginning. Well, you know, like when when I was growing up, it was all the Ronald Reagan people that were there. But you said like they created this whole fucking world. This, this like then. fucking this, That's this Depeche Mode, this fast fashion shit, right? <laughs> Everything's a fast fashion. They're like fuck it. Would you say remember like, they went from like they're like they changed all the laws like the, remember they went from in America they had like gas lines when I was a little kid 70s like oh everybody's doing so bad you know in the terrace or something they're like free money for all these fucking dickheads let's do some cocaine here's your new Ferrari <laughs> you know and they tried to pull like the old dream and like it was like reachable for everybody when of course it wasn't you probably have to be like coming from I'm, I'm a family with money. Well, it doesn't. It's not. University. It hasn't look, changed. Obviously. Wait, 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 wait. How do you own a building in downtown Bologna for your family, right? That's so a different. Aspect in Italy, it's a different style. But you know, it's every different. kid isn't just going to go ahead and go. No, give me my money. We're selling this 500-year-old building. Fuck this. I'm no longer a Medici. You know, <laughs> I want fucking Paris Hilton. You know, like some shit. Like in America, the whole dream is like. Okay, we're going to loan you this money so you can buy this house for 1 million, then you sell for 1.2 million, then you get Keep the loan. Yeah, it's, house. it's but it crashed. It collapsed on the, on the steps. It was just some bullshit, right? You, you're, still, you're talking about the 80s when you grew up. The, the old your passion and your interest in the 60s is like, was it like a reaction to that? No, no, that? No, or no. not really? Something like it happened like naturally, something like you were attracted. To that period and that music. Well, I was born in 1967. No, it's something like you so mentioned. That quite was the music, but the you know, music was more interesting. Like even if you look at like, they used to have like San Remo Festival and Italian Pop Festival 1968. You can go to the you know charity shop and buy some record, right? No, in terms of music. No, like, have you ever seen those albums? Like Italian Pop Festival 1968. Like, no, but even the guests, they were coming all out. the songs from the year. Way better than it is now. Obviously. So good. You're talking about like Italia and the, the 60s or like the music of the time. Good shit. I think you mentioned multiple times Ennio Morricone as yeah, a sort of like. How good uh, is that? You can relate to him in terms of like uh, how much productive. Everybody, productivity everybody can relate to him. Like <laughs> fucking some like Oscar-winning movie. Like everybody, your grandma, the baby. Like it's like inter cross generational He's done like it. fucking 500, more than 500 soundtracks. Every type of person can relate to that guy. Everyone has seen a movie. You want to see yourself as a that type of artist? You know, I don't well, that's cool. I'm different. You know, he's but a you composer. ever thought about like doing like a, a composing? But that's for what I want to do. That's what something I want to do. And you haven't like I know like for example now you're still involved. Uh, you're still, you are heavily involved with the Vimeo account. Plus yeah. you're doing like the streaming yeah. uh, podcast yeah, and exactly. such. Yeah. What's happening? You? I know you're selecting like contributors from like media artists yeah, yeah. and all. That's kind of really cool things. Yeah. Are, on your accounts, but what's stopping from doing that? Are you just waiting for the right project, or just? Well, I, I, I bet you know, I, like you know yeah. that you know you already have the skills, expertise yeah, like, yeah. after you, such a long you know, career. Uh, the business, the business, you know, they fucking put their own thing. They're already marketing. It's one hundred. They call it three hundred and sixty degree business. You know, it's like. They're selling the record. It's the soundtrack. It's the the whole package. To the fucking Heineken and the in the the commercial and such. It's every fucking thing, the toys the kids are playing. It's like everything is all is linked together. It's so a yeah, big but with digital, mafia. with the digital, you can do by yourself. You don't have to take the crap from anybody. Well, I like, I would like to do that. You know, I want to want to collaborate with people and, and do soundtracks. Ah, so even though even in that case, like even like in a movie scenario, you will be calling people. It would be more like well, an I open could do both. idea. I could do both. You know, I think that. Given the situation, if somebody said, okay, look, you know, I'm making this fucking story, and I'm like, that's an interesting story, and I know you've got these skills, cool, let's make the soundtrack. Well, then, why would you want to ever limit what it would be about? Would you say this is one It's like, whatever, the music should be perfect for the moment of the film. So if somebody has, like, dope beats or something, that's what it needs, you know? It's something that you would just say that even, like, 20 years ago, yeah. or, that would be, or that would be a different... You yourself. At the time, you will have been, oh, fuck it. I have to do everything. I'm the one who runs. I'm the guy behind yeah, yeah. Well, the project. 
So you say like now with age it comes more you're like you're more open to collaboration. Not that I say like you went before because yeah. obviously uh, like by and just massacre always I have like a lot yeah, of people on stage uh, like going and coming. Yeah. I wasn't ever an issue, I know. But in terms of like open even possibility, even if I'm looking at your last couple of albums, yeah, yeah. even the the, the sure. vibes they are like transcending yeah. music genre basically nowadays. Yeah. Become like more electronic, sometimes even folk just or move, yeah, just move around. Yeah, that's quite something like a transition. So every right. time they say like, oh you still like the right. kind of the go-to guy from the right. psychedelic. Like, but the one sometimes you wonder sometimes you wonder, you know, like see there's the full spectrum of like pop music. Like what is Al Alice Cooper? What is driving Alice Cooper? <laughs> Meatloaf. Something, right? I think Midlove still has to pay like the mortgages and everything. He didn't he didn't get any money from selling thirty five million albums. We love that's that so story, right? Amazing. That's so huh? amazing. It's a crime, right? I think he's doing like the, the Donald you didn't Trump get his show. Money? They, they, he's doing like the Donald Trump uh, the apprentice. It's Such fucking a, scary. This is yeah. really disgusting. I was going I was merging disgrace and disgusting. Yeah, but it's I think bad. it's worse. It's, a it's disgrace. a disgrace. <laughs> Such a hell disgrace, of disgusting. A disgrace. That's what I'm feeling. So, have you, so I can't believe you're taking pictures of me drinking Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it, it, goes, it goes against the whole icon. I hate that stuff. It's just so hot. I was like. You can always edit with like a like a room and cola. Just take a yeah. glass and something like that. As I said, we have big. Most of the production value and assets <laughs> in our very small room, <laughs> where I have like a loft bed, obviously. Yeah. Uh, what's your take on music nowadays, then? Like you said, like obviously you mentioned like mid love and like I was like, but that's <laughs> from the past. Like, yeah, it's like someone was getting fucked up over 20 or 30 years ago, almost. But nowadays, what do you take? Like, you still think like it's always like driven from the same assholes that you were facing in the 90s, or the situation has evolved now? Well, basically, well, they're not that powerful as they used to be. No, they're more powerful, see, because, like, they've got everybody fucking snowed. Like, you go everywhere, the TV's the same, the radio's the same, and the whole planet. Do you think that's being driven by that all the 12 year olds are the same and they're dictating that they only want to see some jackass TV, some reality TV, and some really bad auto tuned voice? Do you think that they're deciding that? They're not at all. It's like a conspiracy. But nowadays, there's still, like, a certain, like, uh vibe towards like all this kind of like you know like kind of retropolis but even politics like nobody even fucking says shit you know everybody's like oh i'm too busy with my own life so basically we're like china we just get in welfare and watch telly and eat and we just don't give a fuck about like how the politics Something. if, if we Something just barely good. vote as yeah. for testimony that was ah yeah you used to have a democracy yeah. so but they, well, they, well we know see democracy on the international and national level is antiquated notion it's like old Illusion. They're not going to have that anymore. They just replaced the prime minister here with the autocrat from. Yeah, they're still like bank. country by country. Like you have to pay the debts. Well, that's in some countries, camera. in some countries they're going to, you know, some countries they're going to say, like in America, they're going to keep telling you that they're having a vote when there's no way they're having a vote. They just have the vote, but it doesn't doesn't mean anything. And when it's not what they want, they just like adjust it with a, like. A, with the help of the judges and like the constitutional court. Yeah, something, something's up. Are you always being so careful like in politics? I mean, I know like well, it's, some, it's part of being a human, obviously, being like involved with like, what's going on. But how come no bands can even fucking tour? Like, what is up with that? In your What do you mean? How come nobody can have a nightclub, no bands can tour, very few bands? Like, so bad. 